Hello and welcome to another video on external angles in polygons. Now in the previous video we looked at the relationship between internal angles and external angles and we can see from this diagram that they always sum to 180 degrees because they sit on a straight line. So if you know what the internal angle is, you can immediately calculate the external angle because you just need to take the internal angle away from 180 degrees. Now, right at the very end of that video, we also found that when we added together all of the external angles of our pentagon, we got a value of 360 degrees. Now, that was not a coincidence. And in this video, we're going to look at what value we get from other polygons. Now to do this, I'm going to use a tool that I found online from a website called GeoGebra. This website is very good for anything shape related. So if you are a visual learner, I highly recommend using GeoGebra. I will put a link in the video description for this tool so you can um, have a go and play around with it. OK, so what we've got here is we've got the exterior angles of a triangle. You can see they're all labeled these three exterior angles. And what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the sum of these exterior angles. Now, we already know that the exterior angles of a pentagon sum to 360 degrees. So what do you think the exterior angles of this triangle sum to? Now, at the moment, it's quite hard to visualize. It's quite hard to see what they will all add up to. But what we can do with this tool is we can play around with this. And if I just select this red angle, I'm not going to change the size of it, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift it downwards. OK, so you can see that it's still exactly the same size. But if I move it down towards this blue angle and make it join the blue angle, you can see what they now they now sum to this angle here. OK, now at the moment, we, we don't really know what this angle is. But if I keep going, so if I keep going and move this sort of combination of blue and red together until I get to the green angle, notice it forms a perfect circle. OK, so you can see now that the uh, sort of the sum of these angles is also 360 degrees because it forms a complete circle or forms a point. Now, is it a coincidence that the exterior angles of a pentagon and a triangle both sum to 360 degrees? Well, no, it is definitely not a coincidence. And I can show you that with a quadrilateral. So let's go on to the next one. So if I scroll down, you can see we've got a quadrilateral here. And again, the you can have a play around if you want. You can change some of the angles around. You can rotate it and things like that. Um, but for the purposes of this, we're just focusing on the external angles. And again, if I, if I this green angle that we've got here, I'm not going to change the size of it. I'm just going to shift it till we get to the blue angle. So now these are joined together. Now, if I join, if I add on the red or the pink angle, we've now got this size. And now finally, you can see what's happening. If we add on the orange angle, hey presto, the angles also form a circle. So you can see that they sum to 360 degrees as well. So I don't know what other angles we've got here. We've got, a, we've already done a pentagon. Let's just do, well, let's, there aren't any more. So let's just do the pentagon again, just because it's actually quite fun doing this. So and let's just make the shape a bit crazy. So let's let's rotate it. Let's move the orange angle. Whoa. It's quite hard. It's quite hard to quite hard to navigate, but you probably get you probably get some practice. Let's let's use this for now. So I don't know what angle we're starting on. We're starting on the orange angle. So you can see the orange angle here. If I move it up and join the blue angle. So now we're adding these two angles together. It forms this sort of nice pie looking shape so uh, a rather nice slice of pizza i would say now if we add on the pink angle we get this size we add on the green angle we get this size and finally the purple angle we also get 360 degrees so the take home from this is that it doesn't matter what polygon we've got the exterior angles of that polygon will always sum to 360 degrees so this is our first learning point here, is that the sum of exterior angles of any convex polygon always sum to 360 degrees. And the reason I've put convex polygon is because we're only looking at these types of polygons. OK, so this here, this is called a concave polygon. OK, it does not work for these types of shapes. OK, so only convex polygons. Now, using the knowledge that the sum of exterior angles of any convex polygon sum to 360 degrees, 
we can go a step further and we can start looking at individual angles of regular polygons. So we've got a regular pentagon here. And the reason I can see it's regular is because these dashes. So each of these side lengths is the same, which means that each of these angles is the same. So can we calculate this exterior angle just without any angles that have been given to us? And the answer is yes. So because we know that the sum of the exterior angles is 360 degrees, we also know from the information that we've been given that all of the exterior angles are all the same. OK, so this angle here is going to be the same as this angle because it is a regular pentagon. So all of the external angles will be the same. Therefore, what we can do is because we know they sum to 360 degrees, we can just divide 360 degrees by the number of angles. So this external angle here, we can just do 360 divided by the number of sides or the number of angles, which in this case is five because it is a pentagon. And that gives us 72 degrees. So this angle here is 72 degrees. Likewise, this angle would be 72 degrees. This external angle over here would be 72 degrees. They would all be 72 degrees because it is a regular pentagon. OK, what about this hexagon here? What would each of the external angles on this hexagon be? Well, again, it's a regular hexagon. So we know that the external angles are all going to be the same. And we know that they sum to 360 degrees. So what we do is to calculate what each one is, we can just do 360 divided by the number of angles. In this case, it's six because it's a hexagon. So 360 divided by six, and that gives us 60 degrees. OK, let's do one more. Let's take a look at this regular octagon. So pause the video and see if you can calculate what each of the external angles is. OK, so our external angle, if I just draw it in, is this angle here. And remember, because this is a regular octagon, all of the angles are the same. We've got eight of them in total. So to calculate what each one is, we can just do 360 divided by eight. And I believe that gives us 45 degrees. So just to summarize the two main points that we've gone through in this video. Firstly, the sum of exterior angles of any convex polygon always sum to 360 degrees. And I've just noticed that I've used the word sum twice, so it probably doesn't make a lot of sense, but uh, hopefully you, you understand this. And the second point is that if we've got a regular polygon, each external angle of that regular polygon is calculated by doing 360 divided by the number of sides, because we know that the sum is 360. And because all the angles are equal, we can just divide that by the number of sides or the number of angles. So hopefully that was useful. And in the next video, we're going to put this into practice and look at some problem solving questions on interior and exterior angles of polygons. So hopefully I'll see you then. Take care.